Joining us tonight, Andrew McCarthy. Andy is the former chief assistant U.S. attorney in the Southern District of New York, worked in the office for 18 years, now a National Review contributing editor, Fox Business contributor, and always a great American. Andy, good to have you with us. Anti Clue, great to be with you. Anti climatic says Clapper. Uh, those three bums uh, who ran the intelligence apparatus under President Obama, uh, for him to make such a suggestion with all that he's insinuated, said directly and specifically against this president uh, and his administration, I, I have to tell you, my blood boils when I think about it. Well, I think, Lou, that this has always been fundamentally an impeachment investigation. Oh, no doubt. And, you know, well, so they have to get the, they have to get done and get the report to the House. Uh, it's obvious that it's been winding down. I think I read something this afternoon that uh, Mueller's very large staff is down to 12 lawyers, and some of them are contacting their old employers about going back to work. So this thing has been downsizing and, and kind of down to the short strokes for a while now. Yeah, I, I personally think, I, I know that that's your theory. My theory is that it was in place of an impeachment, which they couldn't possibly carry out. And controlling the House doesn't mean much uh, when you basically have Adam Schiff as the chief provocateur. Uh, he's an impotent and ineffective uh, congressman. God knows he wouldn't be able to lead such a, uh, uh, an effort successfully. I, 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 I frankly think that they are fools who now realize their hour is over and the remainder of the days, and I'm talking about six years of days, remain with this president. What do you think? Well, I think we have to be clear on what we're talking about with respect to impeachment. I still think the president will be, I think there's probably three chances out of four that he will be impeached in the sense that the Democratic-controlled House of Representatives will file articles of impeachment. Oh, I don't those think are well, that's a wait a minute. Now, if you're talking about impeachment from, uh, you know, uh, from Green, from Schiff, uh, the usual suspects, Nadler, right. I, I mean, these are left-wing uh, bozos for crying out loud. Uh, one couldn't control them no matter what the facts. The facts are that there is nothing uh, to bring impeachment uh, proceedings for other than the offended uh, right, but, uh, hearts of these left-wing yeah. radicals. Yeah, I, I just wanted to be clear that I wasn't suggesting I thought the president was going to yeah. be removed, but I think that we there's a high likelihood. We appreciate that clarity of these days. <laughs> well, but I just think that Mueller needs to get the report done because yeah. if there's going to be an impeachment in the House, he's got to get it to them. Yeah, well, I, there's nothing that says that he has to get it to them, uh, only that he has to get it to the Attorney General, as you well know. Uh, the true. Attorney General right. certainly would not, uh, I, I would hope, would not be eager to share that report with a bunch of, uh, as I said earlier, uh, left-wing bozos. Uh, who think that this, these minutes uh, uh, that they hold are going to turn into hours and days. I don't believe so. Right, let, let's turn to Clapper on CNN saying it's going to be anticlimactic. Uh, this is one of, the, one of the folks in the intelligence uh, community, along with Brennan, along with Comey, then uh, following on now with the DNI, uh, Dan Coates, uh, and the others. I mean, what is going on with this intelligence community that they have the effrontery? to talk as they do uh, to this president in this disrespectful manner and publicly contradict the, the president's policy choices. Well, you know, look, I, I think, Lou, that when these guys were running, uh, particularly Clapper and Brenner, when they were, Brennan, when they were running the intelligence community, yeah. the intelligence community famously had politicized intelligence product they're now out of the intelligence community and they sound more like partisan operatives than, yes. than former intelligence guys. And they're clearly politically opposed to the president. So I think they're now doing from the outside what they were you know, largely doing from the inside before this. And, and it would be nice if the national left-wing media had the integrity to acknowledge that the president was right about those three gentlemen. Uh, and. Uh, and has been vindicated by the partisanship they've uh, demonstrated and tried to wield against him uh, as president. Uh, let's. I, I want to turn to to the idea that this this president, no matter uh, what, has been innocent throughout. 
But now he has a, a, a known uh, corrupt uh, leadership at the uh, Department of Justice, at the FBI, and I don't know if that can be, uh, th those agencies, that department can be, uh, well, can it ever uh, have its integrity uh, restored uh, and the public's trust restored because it's taken a severe beating uh, over the course of this, uh, these, uh, these attacks over three years against this president. Yeah, well, you and I have talked about this before, Lou, and I'm not as uh, pessimistic about that as you are. I think what has to happen is there has to be accountability. There's got to be a credible investigation, soup to nuts, of what went on here. And I think Attorney General Barr is, is, uh, is committed to making sure that that happens. So uh, I expect that they'll ha take a long look at this. Mm -hmm. And if, if we don't it's need a credible long look. accountability... We've had a long look, Sandy. I've got to interrupt you. I, I'm tired of the Justice Department and the FBI. It's a place where truth goes to die, where if you want to hide the truth, you start an FBI investigation. You don't hear about Benghazi. You don't hear what's happened to all of these people who we know committed crimes, who were guilty of outright Lou, political at any, corruption. Lou, at any, at any moment, the president could unseal all this stuff and, and put it out publicly. Well, He's chosen that not time, to do in that. in my judgment, Andy, has arrived. It's, arrived uh, some time ago, as a matter of fact. But the idea well, of another well, lengthy he, investigation... Lou, I, hear, I hear he takes your calls. <laughs> well, he, I, I don't know that he does uh, take my calls, uh, you know, that often. How? What would you say would be a regular kind of a, occurrence? I'd say, I'd say uh, even if you could do it once, put a bug in his ear. We need some disclosure. I, you know what? I will uh, give it my very best effort to get through that White House switchboard. <laughs> I'm going to try just for you, Andy McCarthy, and the nation. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, Lou. Great to see you. Andy Bye. McCarthy. Up next, Elizabeth Warren plans to push through her radical ideas with national emergencies of her own. Uh, she doesn't seem to have much faith in uh, her colleagues in the U.S. Senate. Now, why is that? Gina Loud and Mark Simone join us here next. Stay with us. Before we go, oh, yes, we get to look at the national debt, $22 trillion and climbing. We're coming right back. Stay with I hate that number, don't you? We'll be right back.